Good morning, it's UPBOptionMillionaires.com. It is Wednesday, November 19, 2014. I do a quick market video here. It's S&P 500 futures. And you can see we were drifting down to uh, lows of the session here before this quick spike to the upside. Uh, it's about, again, 10 minutes before the market's going to open. And look what happened when the market opened yesterday. We had this beautiful spike to the upside. So like Pavlov's dog, expecting this move to the upside, getting into the S&P 500 futures a little earlier this morning uh, on a, in anticipation of another record high, which is uh, something the market's been doing almost on a regular basis these days. Uh, we are only four weeks, four and a half weeks removed from this bear market. Everybody's calling this a bear market here. <laughs> Here's the bear market, just like they were on August uh, 8th and 9th. This pullback, uh, you know, I was a little nervous here as well, but look at this recovery. Beautiful. I mean, this is the definition of that V bottom that's been working for this market since the lows, and especially since the Abenomics trend line started in November 2012. Uh, these V bottoms have been great by the dip opportunities. And again, we're over that Abenomics trend line. Stocks remain uh, well entrenched in a nice uptrend. And until that breaks and we break this Abenomics trend line, stocks are the place to be. And central banks globally, here we are at record high stock prices. And yet central banks are still talking about more stimulus, more stimulus, you know. Um, let's look at some individual names. Tesla downgraded uh, this morning. You can see the stock, and I talked about this, gosh, when it was back 100 bucks. I said it was going to be a $390 stock. Yeah, call me crazy. But we're going to get there at some point. Uh, do you see this pullback that we've had? We broke over the trend line here, and even a pullback here down at about 230. Still bullish, and I expect it to head over 300 bucks over the next six months. Apple. I was talking about Apple back in May of 2013. This nice W bottom. Everybody thought the growth story was over for Apple. Apparently, uh, they were wrong. Uh, you can see this breakout to, to record highs, and I was also talking about it last year. That is in the third leg of a beautiful run-up. We had the first leg here from just after 2000 to, to the uh, financial crisis. The next leg was to September 2012, and this is the third leg, and it's working almost to perfection. Um, Google, that's one to watch here. There's a piece out saying Google's actually a big competition for Apple and Google's winning, but stock price is not winning. Uh, Google pulled back yesterday, it's pulling back a little bit today. That 550 support level once broken could lead us to 500 or below. It's kind of hard to believe. I was expecting it to break out to record highs, uh, just like everything else. But for some reason, Google is just not reacting favorably here in this market. Uh, 3M, I continue to buy puts in this name. Look at how overbought it is. Look at the rally. I mean, you would think they, they've reinvented the wheel or something or learned how to slice bread more efficiently. Uh, look at the rally it's had. Uh, the great part about trading a stock like 3M, the volatility is low. So if you trade and we get a nice one and a half, two 2% pullback, the puts are going to make you some money. But then again, keep, you keep buying the puts every day, and every day it goes up. <laughs> it's not a good thing, but I'm still watching for 3M for a pullback. It broke over 160. New record all-time highs for 3M. Uh, let's look at another name that I'm in puts. Yeah, puts it. You know, uh, JB points it out at Option Millionaires. You, you know, you, you need to hit like four buttons and, uh, and, you know, tell your broker your secret password before you're allowed to buy puts in this market, right? <laughs> uh, big lots. Uh, has been consolidating here since 2009. Each time it's hit the top of this trend line, we've seen a violent pullback. You see these violent pullbacks here back in the 2011 and 2012. And back here at the start of the year, I talked about when it was at 26 bucks that it was going to rally significantly. It ha has, we have that rally, and now we're up against long-term trend line resistance. And I'm expecting a nice pullback down into about the 40, 37, 50, which doesn't make sense. We're hitting the holiday season. But again, uh, it's worked out nicely so far. I put in the Option Millionaire's private Twitter account. When it was at uh, 51, the 50s were 60 cents. There were people selling them for $2 yesterday. Um, we did have a bounce uh, after the open yesterday. But again, to me, it looks like here we go. It's starting to roll over. We bumped up against resistance here. Uh, let's look at some other names. Uh, well, I think Ross Store is reporting earnings tomorrow after the bell, I think. Um, and if you look here, let me pull back a little bit on this chart a uh, beautiful megaphone topping pattern it's making higher highs and lower lows so i'm looking for Roth stars when it announces earnings to see a nice decline here i'm not in the puts yet and of course i could have got some the other day for probably a lot cheaper than they were uh, yesterday uh, but we're looking for a pullback into the mid 70s and possibly below that that's r-o-s-t 
FedEx with the uh, lower oil prices is at record highs. You know, I talked about this as well. Everybody's saying this market's a bubble when you get stocks like 3M, even Home Depot, which is still off its uh, off its all-time highs, but still significantly higher than it was a couple weeks ago. These stocks breaking out, you know, you, it's hard to argue that it's a bubble. This market's a bubble when you've got these boring, dull stocks breaking to, to new highs. Uh, let's look at, so we have FedEx, which again is the same as 3M. We get a pullback, um, and it, the stock was at 150 just a couple weeks ago. Um, you know, it's going to be profitable, but when when that pullback comes and how to trade it and how to time it is, it is really the toughest part in this market that continues to just grind slowly higher. GDX broke over 20 yesterday, beautiful move off its lows. Um, if you look from the long-term perspective here, I mean, there's, there's some room to go to the upside, but it's still... Uh, severely broken chart just like uh, FCX I was talking about this head and shoulders pattern did not work out but I think once we break this 25 we could head back down here to about the $10 level that's from a long-term perspective uh, uh, let's look at a couple other uh, GLD uh, which is hugging this trend line here I mean once it breaks we could head down about 90 uh, to 85 here on GLD and downward channel uh, back possibly to the 2009 lows. So, all right, UPB, uh, the market's going to open for trade here in a little bit, uh, about four minutes until the market opens. And you can see stock futures, uh, you know, maybe we're going to pull back here a little bit. I don't know. Stock futures are basically flat compared to yesterday's close. And uh, this is what we usually see here these days. Uh, right at the open, it's like somebody throws a piece of meat out there and, and it just gets eaten up and we head up to new record highs. We'll see if that holds true. There's no sense fighting this market until we see some definitive uh, downside and bearish action. All right, UPBOptionMillionaires.com. I'll see you in the chat room. Goodbye.